Hello friends, this is Chalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Jiri. This is a brand new video and in this video we are going to talk about how to set up Visual Studio Code for .NET developer. So lots of people ask me to create this video because they don't have higher configuration laptops and basically if you go with the full blown uh, Visual Studio ID then it will require you to have at least 4 or 8 GB of RAM and some higher standard uh, hard disk or the SSD. So if if you don't have that kind of laptop available for development then this is the video for you so in with this video we are going to see how to install the dotnet and few other stuffs and then we are going to see how we can configure out the visual studio code with few extensions to create id like experience before moving to that uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel Code with JV, then please do subscribe to my channel Code with JV because it gives me more motivation to create videos like this. So let's get started. So first you need to open the browser and then you need to type dot dot net and then it will load uh, this one. Uh, the intro one and then you need to click on the download and install and then you can do uh, the uh, the latest download of the dotnet sdk which is right now the dotnet 6 version is there and you also need uh, visual studio code if you haven't downloaded the visual studio code then you can download from here and click on this uh, to save the time i have already downloaded both of them i have created a directory called .NET demo and here we are going to write some of the code so basically once you download and install that click on sorry if you write on .NET uh, this this info then it will show you all the informations uh, there so here you can see i have two dotnet sdk installed 5.1.03 and 6.040 and these are the run times which i got installed and uh, now if you wanted to clear now if you want to create a console app then you need to write dotnet new console in for this purpose we are going to create uh, the .NET new console, but we are we can create a few more commands also. Uh, maybe I will create a separate video for the .NET command line. So basically, to save the time, what I have done is like I have already created a console app there, and you can see that in uh, my Visual Studio Code. So this is the console app there, and this is the CS proj file there. Now, if you run this application via .NET run, it will run that it will take some time few seconds to build the code and see see here you can see uh, here i haven't uh, saved the file now let's run it again here you can see like basically it is uh, running perfectly so now let's see what are the extensions of visual studio which we need for this so basically the first extension you need is c sharp which is from microsoft and it provides lots of lots of support it also provides the intelligence there so for example if you write console.write line you can see it is providing the intelligence there and there are like debugging and other options also available then i have installed uh, the c sharp extensions which is a open source extension and it provides lots of functionality like add new class then add new c sharp interface add fields from constructors lots of lots of functionalities then third thing i have installed is the rosnell letter which is basically kind of a TS config kind of a thing where it gives us the 500 plus analyzers and refactoring and fixes for C sharp and it is also powered by ROS lane so that makes Visual Studio great IDE or like similar to IDE so now let's write some of the code so let me remove this to all stuff and let me create a class here so you can see like it is going to create a class and if I write employee so here you can see the class has been created and now we are going to write some properties and then we are going to also create some properties there here you can see like it is pretty fast so i have created uh, four properties there uh, employee id first name last name now here what i wanted to create is i am going to create a list of employee and then employees equal to new employees new list of employees right 
and then I am going to create a single employee called employee one and I am going to write the employee and now we can write uh, like this so we can do employee ID equal to one employee dot first name equal to Jalpesh and employee dot last name equal to Padgama and employee one dot designation equal to software developer so here you can see there are few squigglies there which is from roasting letters there are lots of uh, things there but we are not going to change that here also like you can uh, use the c sharp new feature so like you can write that even you can uh, do object initializer can be simplified so it has been simplified and now let's add that to our employee list here you can see it is providing full fledged intelligence for that right now let's write here we are going to write where employee in employees and then we are going to print something console dot write line and then we are going to use the string interpolation so we are going to do first name and then here we are going to do employee dot first name and we are going to copy this and here let's put some space there and then we are going to write a designation also right and then we are going to write a separator so we can identify that this is the new employee that's it now let's run that again via dot net run here you can see uh, there are some warnings there but like it is has been printed there so it works perfectly fine now we can also debug that uh, stuff also so let's create a breakpoint here and if you click on this run and debug it will uh, create uh, the .NET launch and let's run that it will take some time to launch all these stuffs uh, the version stuff and here you can see like it is building those stuffs so it is creating a ms build for that so for the first time it will take some time so let's wait for that to complete so now it's restoring the nuget packages Here you can see our breakmate has been loaded and if you do F10 it will go into the another breakmate and here you can see all the variables and here you are getting all these stuffs there. You can see like it's pretty easy and uh, like it provides almost similar kind of experience with the BS Visual Studio Code and uh, you can do whatever you wanted to do. So I hope that you like this video and like this video then please do subscribe to my channel code with jv and i will create similar kind of videos uh, for visual studio code and .NET. and uh, we'll also see some of the advanced videos for like .NET console uh, runtime so we'll see that in coming future so hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching